it's time to finally turn some friendly fire in the enemy team and patiently watch as they outplay their own teammates, carrying your game. These moments are only possible by playing Renata, and today you'll witness one of the greatest plays in Season 14. Speaking of which, let's jump back in with Frosty, who perfectly disengages an entire fight with a single ultimate, even when the enemies had a huge advantage. <laughs> There are still unique players who believe in Renata's power by picking her in the mid lane. Bedsided is one of them. Take a closer look. He has nearly 800 ability power. But the best part is that, in 38 minutes of gameplay, he dealt over 53,000 total damage to enemies. <laughs> the second strength of Renata mid is her bailout spell. Many players completely forget how it works, and since Renata is very squishy early in the game, they try to trade with her whenever possible. With Handshake, you can pull them closer under your turret, and bailout can keep you alive much longer. Demaku already knows exactly what's going to happen in less than one minute. The entire enemy team is moving from the mid lane because they want to fight for that drake. Their gold advantage is significant, which is why our star picked the perfect position to cast Hostile Takeover and turn the entire fight. Samira is already 5, 1, which is why Eve Quick has started to play more aggressively. Each time her spells are up, she goes in to cast a perfect full combo. Meanwhile, Samira has an easy job of wiping out both enemies, continuing her dominance and becoming a monster in the late game. Upset damage, also massive, but Merwin got a big pass to play his cavern shot. Stops the reinforcements, but Merwin finds the kill! How does he do it? Makes it a one for one. That was insane, a Carly play. As Casey now to play off the back foot. Upset's not there, but they still have more until we Snipes the ulti, taken. Now sniped himself for a Gowie with a. At this stage of the game, Kaylee is a carrying machine. She has reached level 18, and I believe everyone knows what that means. Even if her teammates want to get closer, she can instantly wipe everyone out one by one. She's the perfect target for Renata to use as her own damage dealer. Her ultimate can create unbelievable turnarounds even in the most difficult games, but let's not forget about her broken bailout. In this situation, Barris didn't have any chances to survive, but with a second life, he could do much more. One bailout can lead to plays like this one.
Claiming Nashor is much harder, especially when Renata is still alive. You need to stay in the pit to deal damage, which is the perfect place to cast her ultimate. In the chaos, everyone will be fighting each other or still dealing damage to Nashor, but if it gets killed, the whole buff can go to Renata's team. Away. The healing coming out. They're going to try and get the handshake. They will. Drag them back just a little bit, but they need to be careful. Oh, this Callista just getting healed up, and they're constantly going to try and burst them down. There's the clan straight away. They need to kill them off, and there is the bailout with these minions and the Soraka is out for blood. They will have the Lee Sing coming down. That's why Mako's going a little bit heavier in terms of the trade, looking for a Q. Oh, the Q. But the handshake says no on putting on his Q. Oh my god! Yeah, that Renata ult was crazy. What? Wait, how did that hit Lucian and Zerath? What? Is that Renata ult? Yo, someone check the replay. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to send me your clips using the link in the description. Have a great day, stay safe, and see you next time.